Welcome back to my battle map series of videos, tutorials on how to create realistic looking battle maps. Today we're going to walk through of how to create a shadow overlay which will give us this 3D uh, effect um, terrain and how to create this ravine. Uh, so quickly, let's first start by creating our base image and we're going to create this. I normally create mine at 1750. Yeah, it does that to me. 1750 by 1750. I use roll 20, and this gives me basically 35 hexes across by 35 hexes down. Um, next thing I want to do is add my different layers. Uh, so I'll go out here and just start filling with my layers. I'll start. Let's start with my rock layer at the bottom. Uh, next, I'll put my water. And as you can see, I've got lots of different patterns here. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do patterns, uh, seamless patterns on the internet. Um, so I'm not going to go into that, but just do a Photoshop seamless tutorial or seamless pattern. And so lastly, we're going to put some grass on top. So again, we've got my grass. Underneath my grass, I've got my dirt. Under the dirt is the water. And then down at the bottom, I've got my rock. I may not use my rock layer. Um, so next thing we want to do is get our shadow overlays. Um, best place to do that is go out to Google. I did a search for earth rocks and basically I came up with these images. I like these images which have basically light areas and then vertical darkness going into them. Um, this one's another good one. Not so good obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this image and obviously you can see I've already saved it a couple times. Go back to Photoshop and open that image up. And Downloaded, clean up, and where is she? Uh, right there. One, saved it three times. Okay. So again, um, just a few hints about uh, shadow overlays. You don't want real dark areas. So like this area is a little bit too dark, and this area is a little bit too dark. And then this is too much of a cliff. So what I'm going to focus on is just this area here. Um, so to get that, I'm just going to grab that part of the image and try and go as much as I can and then just down this is a nice edge here just go down along there and then down along this edge here we'll go there and then I'll just go there again I don't want that darkness area okay and yeah that looks good so we're going to cut that out or copy that create a new image just that okay we're gonna get rid of the background then the next thing you want to do is go to image adjustments and your saturation level and basically you want to desaturate the image black and white okay and then once I do that I'm gonna copy the image again and I'm going to add a layer mask which is basically a reveal layer mask you can also go up here to layers uh, add mask so if I believe I can just add a new mask right there but it's grayed out because I already have one on there um, but let's just delete that real quick so again layer mask layer mask I want to reveal all so it adds it so it's the same as that button down there I'm going to go to my channels level select my layer mask and paste the image that I copied now it looks like it erased the whole thing which it pretty much did because it's the exact same colors we're going to go image adjustments and invert and so there basically we're erasing the white or light areas and highlighting the dark areas so when we go back to our normal map it looks like that so again here it's there now I'm gonna actually just do this real quickly I'm gonna go in here and reveal a little bit more let's get my paintbrush I don't like this edge right here so I'm gonna soften that up so again I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and just Oops, wrong color. Um, oop, I'm on the wrong image. Darn it. I hate when I do that. I do that so often too. So again, I'm on the layer mask. I'm just going to blend that edge in a little bit better. Because I don't like it. You know, I'd want it just right along the edge here. As you can see, let's go back to my point. Right along this edge. Um, I don't want this second layer. Because on dark... On dark uh, textures, it won't make a big difference. 
um, but on lighter textures, it definitely uh, will. I'm going to shrink this down. Let me just go along here. Otherwise, I'll, I'll end up doing it every time I load the layer mask. Uh, and therefore, I just do it right now. So again, it, the, the top grass will come up to here, and then we'll start our rock face. So again, we'll just doesn't have to be perfect. Um, now, normally, I would file, save this as a PNG. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of images out there. Um, but if I'm doing it quickly, I'll just create a new layer mask or a new layer. Uh, merge the two layers, which basically applies the mask. And then I'll copy it and go back to my original image. So when I paste it, there it is. So as you can see, it, it, it doesn't look like our original darkness. Um, and a lot of times that's what you'll get. So what you want to do is just go to image adjustments, brightness, and just zoom darkness almost all the way down and contrast all the way up. And so now you can see our edge here where the image, you know, where we melded it, it looks, you know, sort of like natural. And then clack. Sometimes I'll actually do that once or twice, you know, just make it a little bit darker um, or, you know, exactly depending on how much I want the interface. But I'm actually comfortable with this guy here. And then I'll just position him. I'll maybe shrink him a little bit. Okay. And now you can just duplicate him and go right along there. Um, I'll try and line up so sort of you got a rock ledge here. Oops. Sort of an edge or a rock there. Right here I have a bit of a gap, so I'm going to just get rid of that right now as well. Um, now also you'll notice you have some overlays here. And all you have to do is just go in, add a layer mask, and then just sort of hide those edges, which is fairly easy. And then, so here I've got another one, but that's actually more of a factor of this guy. So I'm just going to do that, and that looks pretty good there. Okay. Now I could continue doing that, but again, you'll get sort of a pattern there. So I like to use multiple layer masks. Um... And so as you can see, uh, I have a bunch out here. Now real quickly, another way to find layer masks, if you don't want to go through uh, creating them, you can go Dungeonie slash, uh, well, overlay. Oops, not cloverlay, overlay. And you can see they have a bunch. They have like little hills. These are for like hills or rises in the train. Here's some of the other ones. They have pyramids. You'll find stairs out here, stairs overlay and everything. But I, you know, to be specific, I just I want to I want the cliff overlays, and you, so you can see a whole bunch here. You know, nice sharp features um, that are transparent. Now this guy is not transparent. You don't want him unless you're going to clean him up. Basically, you got to make him transparent. Uh, the white areas will become transparent. Um, but there's a whole bunch out here, as you can see, and most of these I already have. So what I'm going to do is just go down here and grab some of the ones I have. So again, where was the ones? You know, here's one, you know, that's right here, or one of these guys. That guy right there, I think I just grabbed. So again, just come back here, I'll copy that, paste it into my new image, and then just change the angle on it, and line him up maybe there. Again, here it looks good, but I don't want that gap down at the bottom, so I'm just going to go there. And then I'm going to go back to this guy and just again hide that. So that's a lot of times while I'll hide the edges. But I won't do it all the time because, again, if I get a different mask, that may match up differently. So, again, if you do it on the fly here, uh, that looks good. So there we go. I got a little bit of a gap here. So what I'm just going to do is just merge those three. And just shift this off to the right or I could even stretch it if I want um, you know maybe keep it shrink now I could also just go and copy this and rotate it if you're lazy and the fact that it's sort of totally opposite um, you know you usually don't see a pattern but also uh, you know since I do have a bunch of overlays uh, I'll just grab different overlays to drop in there so again, here we'll just, oops, rotate him around. So as you can see, he's not as thick as these guys. So I'll just widen him up a little bit. And then we'll just grab one more. Uh, I 
forget if I just grab that guy, we'll grab that guy. And bring him over there. Okay, so so again, I'm, I'm not looking at that big gap down at the bottom, but for the tutorial purposes, it won't mind. So again, we'll just go in and clean up these edges. Here, I'll just apply a layer mask. Erase that edge so it's sort of smooth. And then on the guy below him, we'll just get rid of some of that. Okay, and then again down here I have a similar issue, so I'll just apply a layer mask to that guy. And just flatten it out. Okay, and then just uh, this guy. Okay, so there you go. There's your 3D effect. Um, now, it doesn't look real realistic. Um, if we wanted grass down at the bottom, you'd probably darken this in because it's down below the sun line. Uh, and we'll just go and merge all these layers into our uh, ravine. Um, next, I want to do is just go in. We're going to apply a layer mask here. And basically, we're going to increase our brush. And I want to get rid of this grass because, we, again, we want to make a river. So I'm just going to boost this up. If I don't boost this up, I'm just going to have to go over it lots of times, and we just want to do this quick, so we just want to erase that. Okay, so there's that, and again, I don't want any grass on here, but I may want, you know, like the top edges with some grass, you know. So I'll just say, okay, well, we want a little grass here, you know, like the grass is growing down just a little bit. You know, I may do that over on this side as well. You know, the grass is sort of creeping down. But the rest of it, you know, I pretty much just want to get rid of it. So we're just going to increase the brush size. We're just going to go down the middle. Again, the, the lower you have these settings, the more you got to go over it. But you're not going to have as hard of lines, which is sort of nice. So again, here, I'm just going to get rid of that. Get rid of the lower grass on my rocks. Okay, and there's my dirt layer. Okay. Nice friendly dirt. Okay. So then again, I want a river. So basically, I'm going to again apply a, a overlay. I'm going to lower this a little bit and start just putting my river in the middle. I'm actually going to shrink my brush down a little bit. Let's boost that back up. Just get a nice quick, quick river going down the middle. Okay, and the reason I don't do the edges because I sort of want to see that, you know, so sort of like close to the edge. And, and you may want to. You may want to say, well, it, it's it's a river going all the way up. Um, but as you can sort of see here, uh, if we zoom into 100%, you can sort of see the stones underneath. And that's sort of why I, I like that. And so if I keep just, whoops, lightly, it's a little bit too heavy. Just brush along there. You can sort of see like the water rising up along the edge. You know, so again, just lightly, maybe once over or with a little bit lower setting, just go again. So you can say it gets deeper towards the middle, but along the edge, I can see, you know, just a little bit of the rocks forming in. And it gives it more of a realistic 3D effect uh, when you do that. I'm just going to lower this guy a little bit more. Takes There you go. So again, it takes a couple of tries in there, or you may even want a little bit of beach there. So again, you've got, you know, just a little bit of the stones you can see through the river. Okay. Whoops. I forgot down here. Okay. And I don't mind going up on the rocks a little bit because it looks sort of like the water is, you know, flowing along the edge of the rocks, which is sort of cool. Uh, you know, you can sort of see the edge, the rocks place underneath. Okay. There we go. And now I could uh, go down through and say, okay, I want to see my cliff face here. But this is pretty nice dark. But if I wanted to, basically I'd just apply 
an overlay here. And then since I want to see through all this, I'm just going to make sure I erase. I'm actually going to make sure it's 100%. Because again, I'm not going to have water outside the side edge of this. So. so you get a nice darkness. And then this side, you're just along the edge of where the water is. Okay. And then so I can see through my water, but again, my dirt seems to be overlaying it a little bit. So again, if I drop this down a little bit, shrink my brush down. You know, I can start to see my, my rock coming in underneath it. So there's my rock layer. It's a little bit darker, uh, which is not the blue. So again, if you zoom into a 100%, uh, you know, you sort of got the brock, rock, you got the dirt, which is a little dirt. Then you got the shore, then you got the water. So that's pretty much it uh, for how to create it. As you can see, it only took a few minutes and fairly easy to do once you have. So what you want to do is just save these overlays. So now a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just copy that overlay and create a new image and just save that as a PNG because then I don't have to do that overlay. I can just lay a whole river or maybe I'll want a river with a bend and so I can use this and cut this up. Um, but that's just uh, quickly how to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Leave some comments and feedback. Thanks.